Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be bringing you my first Valentine's Day inspired makeup look for this year. And it is this look, I think it's soft, slightly smoky, romantic, but actually quite easy to do. Now what's special about this video is it is in partnership with skinstore.com. I did a video like this with them last fall and when I partner with them they don't pay me for my video but they merely say hey would you like to go on our website and choose some makeup products to share with your viewers and I say um, yes, sign me up. So when I went on there, I was really excited to see lots of new brands. And we are talking, now they have an even bigger expanse of products as far as uh, price range from Makeup Revolution. They've added a lot of those products, but they've also added products like by Terry and other really high-end brands. So they really have a broad range of products and one thing that I love is they carry a lot of brands that I personally can't find at my normal beauty stores where I like to shop for makeup. Now, as before, they were so kind to offer a discount code for all of you. I will put that across the screen here and also put it in the description box along with a list of all the products I use today and an affiliate link that will take you directly to skinstore.com if you wanna shop that way. If you don't wanna use my affiliate link, that's okay. Just go to skinstore.com and start shopping. As I take you through this, I am going to do this in a voiceover type of style. It is super stormy here today. We have had gully washing rain to hail and then calm like it is right now. So I just didn't know what the sound was going to be like. So I'm doing a voiceover for the tutorial, but stay tuned to the end and I will wrap up this video with a few final thoughts. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. All right, starting off with a fresh face, I'm applying the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. And this is a nice gel type formula and I'm placing this all the way from the lash line up to the brow and I'm making sure to completely work that in until it's no longer tacky. Now I'm going to the face and so I'm going to start off with a little under eye corrector. This is the Embryolisse under eye corrector in the shade beige and skinstore.com sent me this to me last fall and I do like this. It's a nice thin, lightweight consistency. It can be used on its own, but it's not quite enough coverage for me. So I just like to apply this under my concealer kind of as a first step. So working that in with my fingers, and now I'm going to use the DHC Super Collagen Mist and an E60 brush from Sigma. I've been testing out this method and I'll keep you posted on how it works, but I'm trying it out with a bunch of different concealers. So I'm just tapping that setting spray under the eye and then I will allow it to dry while I go in with face primer. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer Blurring. I've had this for quite a long time, but I really just haven't used it enough. So I wanted to try it out today. So it is a silicone free primer. So it's really nice and lightweight. It doesn't clog the pores. And I do find this to work well under certain types of foundation. So I'm just placing this in the areas where I have enlarged pores and where I have some deep lines there on my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with foundation. Now this is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation in the shade Light. And you can see it's a little hard to get out of the tube. It has this huge doe foot applicator. And if you're not careful, some of the product can kind of spray out on your desk or on your clothes. So just be careful. But you can see I am just spreading that out. Really just one dip of the wand in was enough to kind of get me started. So I spread this out and then I'm using the Sigma Kabuki 3D HD brush to spread this in. Now, what it says on the box is that it's a, a weightless fluid foundation formulated for full coverage with a natural radiant finish designed with a doe foot applicator to deliver seamless coverage wherever you wander, enriched with niacinamide to improve skin's radiance. And I would say actually most all of those claims are true. This one isn't super long wearing on me, but it is a beautiful finish. You can see that and it 
does provide nearly full coverage. I think you can build it up in certain areas to really get you almost there. You can see I'm adding just a little bit more, but it really is a beautiful finish on the skin. And I think especially if you have dry skin, you would love this foundation. So I have combination skin, so I do have to powder this one like crazy, but it still is beautiful and provides a pretty good day's worth of wear. Now on to concealer, I'm using the Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer, and I have the shade 2.3W. I just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand and then use my finger to really warm it up, tap it onto the skin, and then just use my fingers to tap it in. You have to be patient with this, but really take your time, work it into the skin, and just be careful not to get too much product. Now onto contour. I'm using the Illamasqua Gel Sculpt Contour Stick, and I have the shade Silhouette, and I just continued to be amazed by this. This was one of the items I picked up from skinstore.com last fall, and it truly feels like you're putting cold water on your face. It's just so cooling and it is a gel formula. Now you wanna make sure, you saw me trying to move my sideburns out of the way. You wanna make sure you don't get your hair in the middle of it because it just kinda of makes it a little trickier <laughs> to blend out. But this is just such a nice formula. I'm taking this BK Beauty brush. This is the 107 and just blending that into the skin. And what I love about this is it provides such a nice natural contoured look to the skin. So we're trying to keep the skin really natural looking, but perfected. And so now I'm going in with the Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid cheap cheek blush in the shade angel this was again another product i picked out last fall and i love these blushes i now have three colors i'm using the 522 luxie highlighter brush to blend three drops of that on the back of my hand and then tapping on the face this is the easiest way to apply these blushes and if you do this they really just melt right into the skin you can see i'm just continuing to add just a little bit more glow to the skin but there's no shimmer or sparkle the skin is just looking even more and more healthy now it's time for the by terry hyaluronic tinted hydra powder i have the shade 100 fair and when i first opened the box i thought oh my goodness this is a tiny little jar for the amount of money but i did compare the amount of product and it is the same as the becca hydra mist powder but it's still pretty pricey. So I'm just using this under my eyes at this point. I'm using the Sedona Lace 313 brush and you can see I did press out any creasing I had in my concealer before setting it with this powder. And you'll notice initially it does look really beautiful. It says on the box, it's extra smoothing, multi-zone correction, no pores, no lines, invisible matte finish. And I would say initially, yes. But what I found is throughout the day, I don't feel like that smoothness stays. However, I am continuing to try this out with different concealers, so I will definitely keep you posted. But initially, it is really nice. Now I'm using another By Terry product here, and this is the Ombre Black Star. This is Color Fix Cream Eyeshadow. Look at that beautiful color. This is the shade Bronze Moon. And you can see it really blends in, but still leaves this really nice shine. And there is shimmer in this, but as it says on the box, it is a cream shadow that is packed with Tahitian black pearl extracts, rich in calcium trace elements and pearl proteins for smoothing, reshaping, and perfecting action. The precise pencil with its soft tip embellishes the eyelids with unrivaled shimmering color like fine pearls. It's light catching smudge free shades adapt and layer for natural or smoky eyes. So I really do feel like these are a really unique formula. As you can see, I've applied it to about three quarters of the lid and I'm using this Real Techniques brush to now blend it out. These are very buildable and I think this shade is perfect for that kind of 
one color eyeshadow look if you want to do that I'm going to add a couple just extra shadows just through the crease but you could definitely just use this shadow and get away with it um, but you can see I'm just using a couple of layers I'm now going in with the Real Techniques deluxe crease brush just to make sure the edge of that's really soft and even though this has shimmer and I have textured lids I really don't feel like this highlights the texture on my lids too much and I am able to wear this without layering on a powder shadow over the top of it I really feel like it layers well and you can see by the light catching uh, qualities of this pencil that it makes it look like I'm wearing more than one color on the lid right now and I'm not so I'm just using now a little bit of that on the lower lash line just smudging that out with my finger and these do blend out well but then they set and stay now to complete this look today, because this is a little extra special occasion, I am using a cream eyeshadow first under the brow, and then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow, and I'm using this pink shade. It's a warm pink neutral. Now you can use any color you want. This was just the perfect tone for me for today, so you can use any kind of neutral pinkish, um, kind of caramely tan color through the crease. You could use whatever you wanted, but this was just the perfect shade. So I'm using the BK Beauty 201 to lightly blend that through the crease. And you can see it's just softening the edge ever so slightly. Now, this other product from Skin Store I picked up is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I have had this color before. This is the shade Spice, and it is so good. It is one of my favorite colors. It's a very unique red brown, deep red brown. These are waterproof. They are super soft initially, so you do have some work time with them. But you can see I'm applying this to the inner rim or tight lining with this and then I'm using the Morphe M432 to press that into the lashes and this took away kind of some of the excess product because I didn't want this to transfer onto my lower waterline and I did feel like that helped. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of this on top of the lashes and you can see I'm keeping most of that color just on the outer corner and then I'm going to take the BK Beauty 204 smudge brush and I'm going to now smudge this and work this into that by Terry um, cream shadow stick because I really don't want it to look like I'm wearing liner I just want this nice soft smokiness right there so just adding a little bit making sure to blend it out and you want to do one eye at a time so that it smudges out but you can see what a pretty combination that is and you can see there's no transfer onto my waterline now I felt like all that blending I lost a little bit of the shine so I'm just adding a little more of that cream shadow going back with a little more of that um, Charlotte Tilbury shade through the crease and then one more time just with my brow highlight brush and then right on the edge I'm just making sure to clean up any excess eyeshadow where I might have gotten past my outer corner now I'm going in with the Balm Mary Luminizer as my inner corner highlight because I'm also going to use this as my face highlighter in a moment. So I thought this would keep things really super simple. So just putting that on the inner corner and then taking the Sigma E30 just to really blend in the edges. Again, we're trying to make everything look really soft and seamless and well blended. Now I wanted a little extra sparkle. So I'm going in with this luxury topper shade from the Pillow Talk palette. You don't have to do this. It's such a subtle difference, but I really liked that little extra bit of gold sparkle. For my setting powder, I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I have used several different powders with this foundation. I feel like it works well with many different powders. So this one probably gives me a little less of a matte finish than maybe the Becca Hydra Mist one, but I still really loved the finish. 
And then going back to the Balm Mary Luminizer Highlighter with the MAC 140 Fan Brush, putting this on the high points of the cheeks, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow. And now I'll just quickly go through my brows. I'm using the Milani Precision Brow Pencil today in the shade 120 Caramel. And I am doing a little lighter fill-in. So I like to go below the brow, on top of the brow, and then just lightly fill in any of the blank spaces. And then in the front, I'm trying to be careful not to make it look too blocky or too harsh. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix in Audrey. And this, I think, just makes the brows look a little bit more feathery and it makes it look like you really have brows, <laughs> brow hairs, even if you might be missing a few hairs. And then I go back with that spoolie and just make sure that there's no clumpiness or anything. Now it's time to curl the lashes. These are the Tweezerman eyelash curlers for round eyes. For mascara, I'm using Tarte's Man Eater Mascara. I thought that was really funny, thinking of Valentine's Day. And I can't help, every time I use this mascara, I think of the Hollow Notes song, Man Eater. Anyway, this really does give the lashes a nice kind of um, defined look. It gives them length, a little bit of volume, but I think it's just a little lighter look than my Superhero Mascara. However, it does smudge terribly on me. I have that issue with a lot of mascaras. So what I'm doing is I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions on the lower lashes like usual. And then what I'm going to do on the top lashes is I'm going to go behind the lashes with a little bit of that Thrive Mascara. And this is going to help prevent it from smudging on my upper lid through the day. And then I go on the front of the lashes and add just a little added length there. It makes the lashes look super long and fluffy. And I just really loved how the lashes looked. Now around the edge of the lips, I'm using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This just helps everything stay in place and also helps even out my lip lines. For a lip liner, I'm using the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. This is a really good one. It's a nice neutral color. This is the shade Because Duh. <laughs> I don't like the name, but this color is really good. It's a nice neutral, kind of slightly warm nude brown color and I thought it would kind of warm up the lip color that I chose just slightly so it would mesh with the look that we have going on today. So just putting a good amount of that lip liner around and now I'm going in with the final product I chose. This is so good. This is the Lipstick Queen Rear View Mirror. This is a lip lacquer. Now what you want to do is you want to roll up just enough to use one time because you cannot roll this back down. So if you roll it up too far, you're gonna end up wasting product. This is a beautiful, cool nude pink shade and it has just high shine, really no detectable scent whatsoever. These are hydrating and you'll see in a moment, good amount of color, shine, and yet, it stays around for hours on the lips. I could not believe how long wearing this was and it did not bleed past my lip line. I just continue to be impressed with these and definitely plan on buying more shades of this lip product. All right, so here's our finished look. And I really love how everything came together. To me, I think this is just the perfect kind of soft, smoky, romantic makeup look. There's no harsh lines, and yet the eyes have some definition, just that hint of shine and sparkle. And then by keeping the cheeks and the lips kind of more neutral, I think it helps highlight the glowiness from that foundation and just the skin looks nice and healthy. And I just think this is a perfect look, whether it be for Valentine's Day, or any other day of the year. I think today my favorite products that I used for sure, first of all, were the Lipstick Queen, that lip lacquer. It is so good and I continue to be impressed every time I wear this of how long it really lasts 
and it doesn't bleed past the lip line. Yeah, love it. And I really enjoyed this eyeshadow stick. I've worn this for a couple of days and really it has lasted very well even without topping it with eyeshadow. So many times I have troubles with cream shadow sticks staying in place and not creasing or feeling tacky. This one definitely doesn't. And that shimmer, man, those Tahitian black pearls, they do a good job in here. So really love those. And of course the eyeliner, the foundation, the only thing that I'm really going to continue using and putting to the test that I just have not 100% formed an opinion on is the By Terry powder. I just tapped on a little more in the center of the face and I do feel like initially it does add a really nice blurring effect, but under the eyes throughout the day when I've worn this, I don't feel like it adds any extra moisture. I kind of feel like the under eye area ends up still looking a little dry, but I'm gonna to continue to test it out. Be sure that you check the description box below. I will have the link where you can shop for all of these products on skinstore.com as well as my discount code, don't forget that. Thank you again so much for watching. Be sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time, bye.